Hey, hey everybody! Now, in everyday life, we only just don't add two numbers. Sometimes we'll have three or four numbers that we need to add together. Like this problem here. Five and eight and five. Now, let's work it out like we normally do. Five and eight oh, equals 13. Now I have to add five. I'm getting a bit confused. Can I teach you a really tricky way to work it out in your head? It's really cool. Are you ready? We just need to make 10. When you come across numbers and there's multiple numbers and you're unsure what to do, find what you know. Let's make a 10. Well, I know that five and five equals 10. Therefore, 10 and eight is always gonna be a teen number equals 18. Hiya! How easy was that? Let's do another one. All right, are we ready to be tricky, tricky, tricky? Here we have six, add six, add four. What do we do? Make a 10. Now, six and six mm -mm, equals 12. Six and four equals 10. We're going so fast. Now, we know that 10 and six equals 16. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Let's see if we can add four numbers together. Let's go. Here we go, four numbers. Let's have a look at making a 10. Hang on, I don't see any two numbers that when they're added together equal 10. Oh, but I can see three numbers added together that equals a 10. We know that two and three is five. Five and five equals 10. 10 and six equals 16. So our answer is 16. We did that so quickly. Clever kids, just use what you know. I crossed out the numbers so that I could easily see the numbers I had already added. You can do any math problem as long as you use what you know and you can help yourself work it out logically.